Let me introduce myself. My name is David Worcester. I born, was born in Stanford, Connecticut in 1710. I have always been a resident of these colonies, the great colony of Connecticut. In my youth, I attended Yale College. And after some time, not much difficulty, I would add, I courted and wed the Reverend Thomas Clapp's daughter, who Thomas Clapp, as some of you may know, is the president of Yale College. And Mary Clapp and I were married in 1745. We had six children. Um, sad to say, however, that only two of them have survived to adulthood disease, taking the rest of them in infancy. However, many of you see me in military regalia, and I'm extremely proud of my military prowess in my past. I have served when necessary, served when asked, served when needed. Growing up in Worcester, I had to kind of laugh. I'm ashamed to say that myself, probably most of you here, the only thing that you know of General David Worcester is that there's a painting of him in the coffee house. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. I didn't even know that. In, in 1777, General Worcester is uh, called, just as that letter read, by the governor, being Benedict Arnold, who he hated, by the way. Benedict Arnold was 35 years his younger and very cocky and very pretentious. He and Benedict Arnold and General Stillman went to attack General Tryon outside of, um, outside of Danbury. As General Worcester attacked the rear guard of the British, he went to rally his troops and was struck down with a 69 caliber ball about the size of my thumb in his side, which shattered his backbone and lodged into his stomach. He died four days later in rhythming agony. He was buried immediately. Three people attended his funeral. One was a black slave about the age of this boy right here. In 1858, the citizens of Connecticut decided that, you know, we need to do something for this great patriot hero of our state. Let's erect a monument. Let's re-enter him, let's give him a proper funeral, but we don't know where he is. This black slave boy is now an old man. A human man. And he pointed the location when they dug the spot. Metallic fringe from epaulets were found. A 69 caliber ball was found around the area of the backbone of the stomach, and the skeletal remains had a shattered spine. So General Worcester in 1858 received full military funeral, full military regalia, and is now proudly buried in Danbury, Connecticut. If you get a chance, take a look at the flags. These two flags are patterned after originals that General Worcester carried. This is one found in the Danbury Museum, and this is one that was his regimental flag. It carries the memorial seal of the colony of Connecticut on one side, and because Massachusetts was their sister colony, and to show their total support for Massachusetts, the motto, An Appeal to Heaven, which is the motto of Massachusetts, is put on the back, which is a quote from John Locke in his second treatise on government. So, there'll be a test on this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is the significance of General Worcester and Worcester, Ohio? That's a very good question and not one that's easy to answer. Because in 1779, New Haven, Connecticut is burned to the ground by the British. And all of General Worcester's family papers are destroyed when his home is destroyed. Um, because of that raid, Connecticut, which originally extended well west into what is now North Ohio and Indiana, had an area called the Western Reserve. Subsequently, if any of you ever wish to do any research on Connecticut and the Revolution, there are two places to go. The uh, Connecticut State Library in Connecticut or the Western Reserve Historical Society in Cleveland. They have more, they actually have more records there than they have in Connecticut. Subsequently, these individuals who were burned out in Connecticut were given land grants in the east, or the west. Not all of them came, but some of them did. And those that did come were relatives or veterans of General Worcester's regiment in the war. And as they moved further south, that's the best that we have as a, as a total clincher cinch to that connection. Unfortunately, I wish I could give you a better, more solid, like this guy was here and he did that, and that's why I do not. All right, thank you very much for your time and your attention.